Look at that. My phone says winter storm warning. <laughs> and I'm out here making pizza. Hello my friend, welcome to a winter storm adventure. Do you like snow? Because I have a bunch to give you. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Speaking of trouble, I almost chickened out of my morning ice bath. I can't do this, I can't do this. I can do this, I can do this. Some of you called me out on my last video for not going all the way in. And you're right, I chickened out because it was cold and dark. This time though, I'm going full scent. Here's your polar plunge. <sighs> so refreshing. What a great way to not start your day. While I defrost, let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Look at that craziness. I feel like I'm in an igloo. There's so much snow on this car. The outside of this door froze over, so. And you see me? <laughs> There's so much ice. There you go. We're good. Wow, it's crazy. I think I need a more industrial version of a snow scraper. Talk about a shelf of snow. That's my antenna. <laughs> Finally made it to the ski resort. I got past all the crazy stuck cars. Unfortunately though, we've gotten so much snow that I pulled into the parking lot and they said that the power's out. <laughs> Electrical pole that just broke in half and now half of it's on the ground no estimated time of opening. If you're a skier or a snowboarder, you know how torturous it is to come to a ski resort after you're getting 30 or 40 inches of fresh snow and you can't get on the mountain. So much snow. sketchy mountain pass in between mountains trying to get to the ski resort before they close the pass this is notoriously known for avalanches but i'm just trying to find a place to ski and camp for the night thankfully i brought my pizza oven so even if i do get stuck and i can't get my pop my pop-up camper up I can still make something to eat i just saw a truck on the side of the road this truck does really well in the snow a lot of people drive pickup trucks and have issues with rear wheel drive or they don't put weight in their bed but there's a lot of weight in the back of this truck because of the camper and I have three peak rated snow tires so I really don't have any issues getting stuck unless of course I drive into Sierra cement that is too old and just too deep but that hasn't happened for a really long time I had to stop and show you that stop sign right there it's almost completely covered <laughs> wow this guy's been here for a hot minute. So that's one of the reasons why I'm nervous about switching to an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive van because I just don't know how well it's going to do in the snow. A lot of times they don't have much weight in the back. My plan with the van is to put the battery packs and the water tank over the rear axles so I have some weight back there. But I'm just still not sure how it's going to do in this much snow. Oh no. Well, it's official. I am stuck here for the night. They closed the road for avalanche control. Thankfully, I brought extra water, propane, and food, so I'm just gonna be camping overnight. That's why it's so important to always be prepared for winter storms because you never know what's gonna happen. Now, I have to go find a place to camp. They're blasting. <laughs> Well, I still haven't found a place to camp. The visibility is getting worse. It's getting darker. The snow is still coming down. These snow berms are so high. Look, it's all the way up to my head. So I'm just gonna have to make do and find something soon because I'm running out of time. Not a whole lot I can do when this much snow comes in. I've been editing and I've been working on my new website, lostwithhannah.com. So I'd be really super appreciative and happy if you went over and subscribed to it. I send out a fun weekly email and you can also find my links to my exclusive photos and videos that I don't upload on here. So on to the sushi burrito. I love sushi, but sometimes I like to make it into a burrito because I just think it's more fun. I already got the nori 
laid out with my rice. So I'm gonna add the veggies and my protein. And now, you just take the hot sauce. Then I'm just gonna roll it up. <laughs> Looks a little weird in the camera, but you get bonus points if you can seal up the ends. <laughs> mm. Do you like sushi? What's your favorite type of roll? Okay, I'm going to eat the rest of my sushi burrito, get in my little dinette sleeping spot, and go to sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Let's see how much snow we got. Not looking good. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of snow. Look at that snow. Look at that snow bank. It's still blowing off. Come back inside. It's a lot warmer in here. I'm gonna get dressed and I'll meet you out there. Constantly dealing with snow on this roof is such a pain in my butt. Say goodbye to popping the camper up for a long while. The problem is that when I turn the heat on the camper, it heats the back end of the camper, but so like the snow on the back of the camper will fall off, but the snow on the front of the camper does not fall off because there's no circulation. This is a constant battle. This is the wall of snow from plowing. So at least at least 12 feet high. Dream run versus reality. <laughs> Grab my dough. It's not quite room temperature yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna spread the dough the old fashioned way. I haven't made pepperoni pizza yet. This is the first time. <laughs> okay, so you know the number one rule about not getting your slide wet so that the pizza goes in the oven? I think I broke that rule because it's covered in snow. <laughs> We're gonna stick it in the oven now. Look at that. My phone says winter storm warning. <laughs> and I'm out here making pizza. I had to put pizza oven on the ground. I think it still needs. We're gonna flip it a little bit more. Put that back in. Hi! <laughs> this is dedication right now. You truly love pizza. You will make pizza in the middle of a snowstorm. Look at that. So far, that's what it looks like. That looks amazing to me. Oh yeah. I'm gonna stick that there, I guess. Oh, that's great. There you go. I thought my battery died. I still think it's on its way out though. <laughs> so I brought this lawn chair. It was completely covered in snow. So the plan was to like kick back, eat some pizza and chill in my lawn chair. But you know, well, conditions aren't quite that ideal right now, so I'm just gonna sit in this snowy covered chair and eat some pizza. <laughs> Tried to go for like, why does my light keep going off? Oh no, it is dead. No. I gotta do this fast before I'm completely in total. Oh, this is not going well. Can you get that camera between all the snow? Mm. How else are you going to get a pizza delivered in a snowstorm? When you're up against the forces of nature, you just got to go with your pizza sense. <laughs>
it's time to eat my pizza, put my pizza oven away before it turns into a snow mound, and get everything inside the camper because the snow is still coming down. But I'm still so happy I found a camp spot and I made a pizza. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you later.